and we're now up at the start of the Thames Cup, the Club Men's Eight, Belvoir Ruder Club Zurich, Switzerland, and the City of Bristol Rowing Club. So the Belvoir Club from Zurich uh, in the in the uh, white, black, and blue colours on the left of the screen. Um, Getting a good start, a, a, a bright start from Belvoir. Uh, their competition on the right of the screen and closest to you now is the City of Bristol Rowing Club. A slightly heavier crew, but the fast start of um, Belvoir Zurich has uh, given them about half a length start as they come towards the end of the, uh, uh, half a length lead as they come towards the end of the island. Yes, City of Bristol, they're closest to us in the Buck Station, sitting just about half a length down now on the Bel Belvoir Ruta Club from Zurich in the Buck Station. And the City of Bristol crew raced in this event last year but were knocked out by the Mercantile Rowing Club from Melbourne um, on the first day. And Mercantile proved to be one of the strongest uh, crews in this event last year. So. Bristol, the city of Bristol, uh, keen to uh, have amends from uh, meeting that strong opponent in the first uh, part of uh, the regatta last year. But it's, uh, it's the crew from, from Zurich in Switzerland, the crew in the Bark Station, Belvoir Ruder Club Zurich, who have shown out in uh, this this heat of the uh, Thames Challenge Cup. Coming up to the enclosures now towards the end of the race, there you see the mile mark um, in this course, and Belvoir about a length, perhaps, uh, perhaps more, a, a, ahead of the uh, City of Bristol Rowing Cup crew in the white and green colours. And the City of Bristol really starting to tie there. Uh, we can see that the crew from Switzerland looking very strong. Their stroke man, Felix George Hopman, he's 183 centimetres, only 69 kilos, which is quite light. Uh, but um, he's uh, won a few medals, silver medals on the German and Swiss championships. But he's very excited because this is his first Henley Royal Regatta. So he's excited to be here leading his crew to a win through the first round here. The coxswain we can see there cheering his crew on, Jan Erik Gustaf Gustafsson, 57 kilos. He says the boys are ready and he's eager to see them race. So he'd be very happy to see that they're coming down to the line here, past the Stewart's enclosures. And Belvoir Zurich, the crew that's going to cross the line and and be the victor in this heat of the Thames Challenge Cup for Club Club Eights. A good margin of two to three lengths over the Bristol City Rowing Club. <laughs> 